I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in Chicago for REIT Week 2013. Joining me today is Steve Shikikawa, Managing Director with Newberger Berman. Steve, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Earlier this year, you, you wrote about uh, the resurgence that you saw in the regional mall sector. Do you still share that same opinion now? We still like the regional mall space. Uh, when we look at the fundamentals in that space, they're continuing to improve. Uh, when we look at tenant sales or retail sales, uh, those numbers are improving. Uh, we think that the, the mall landlords are in a, a very competitive space uh, relative to uh, their tenants. So the tenant landlord discussion we think is in favor of the landlords at this point because the retailers want to add new space uh, and they want it to be in the highest productivity malls. And those are largely owned by, by, the, by the mall REITs. Uh, another th another item that we think is is going to be very uh, uh, supportive to the regional mall space is the lack of, of new supply. We hear that across most of the property types, uh, but we think in the regional mall space it it's, uh, uh, it, it has the best fundamentals in terms of lack of new supply. So when we look at the next several years, very little new supply with improving demand, uh, we think will drive net operating income growth for the regional mall players. And what about some other sectors that you're particularly bullish on? Uh, another sector we like is the industrial warehouse space. Um, what we've seen in the, in the industrial space is that uh, three years of positive net absorption uh, in terms of national industrial warehouse space. Uh, and I think importantly what we heard uh, from most of the REIT landlords is that leasing spreads are turning positive. Uh, and this is very important after nearly five years of, 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 of negative leasing spread. So we think that uh, when you look at the, the renewals of leases that were signed uh, in, the, in the prior period, so the 2003 through six period, uh, we're largely past that point. And so uh, we think it'll be more favorable in terms of the industrial warehouse uh, landlords uh, to be able to increase occupancy in their portfolio uh, and in addition get get rental rate increases. And here every week it sort of marks kind of the halfway point of, of the year. What do you think is going to be the major story in the REIT industry in the second half? You know, w when we think about what's, what's driving the market, uh, one of the things that we think will be influential in commercial real estate is the strength in the housing market. Um, when you think about uh, demand for, let's say, for industrial, uh, you're, you're, when you talk to the industrial landlords, their small space uh, vacancy rates are improving. Much of that is, is being driven by uh, strength in the housing market, so contractors, uh, floor and tiling uh, contractors, et cetera, are, are oftentimes the tenants in those small spaces. Additionally, if you look at the retail space, uh, as uh, single-family home values increase, that being the largest investment for uh, most people, uh, that, that usually uh, points toward improved consumer confidence and improved retail sales. Uh, we're also looking at some of the most distressed single-family housing markets uh, in the downturn as those markets could have potential in a recovery. And so when you think about housing driving economic growth and job growth in those local markets, uh, commercial real estate landlords who have uh, exposure to those markets should benefit. Steve, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.